The essential jig for every new woodworker, winding sticks. Hola, woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Winding sticks are used to, when you're making maybe a tabletop or you've got a rough piece of uh, wood from the lumber yard or from the hardwood store and you're going to do some planing on it and you want to get it as true as you can for a fine piece of furniture or something. Uh, Paul Sellers has a two-part video on building a winding board. And uh, so about 90 minutes, 80, 80 or 90 minutes in great detail. If you want to make it a woodworking project, I would recommend that video. It's in our link. As I saw different videos on, on building windy sticks, it, it just struck me and maybe I'm missing something. So you experts can comment and tell me. But I just decided that rather than build one, and then I had to worry about whether or not it's going to stay in shape, I thought I'd use some metal. And so I just took some tracks that I have left over from a project. I happened to have a 36 inch piece. I cut it in half. I uh, marked the center. I put some orange duct tape on one of them and I put some black on the other. The reason for the different colors is so that when you're siding down the board, and you're lining them up, if you had black on black, you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell, uh, uh, you know, what the far one, where the far one is. And that's why a lot of the people building their own wood uh, winding boards put some uh, highlights on them or some different colors uh, with some inlays or something. So I, I would put my uh, orange one down here, it, making it easy to see on my tabletop. I would put my black one I want to make sure I center and you sight down see as you drop down does one edge of the far board uh, you know dip out of view before the other end then the videos I've linked to will tell you what to do when you find that a board is twisted or does have wind in it so that's uh, one solution but if you want the wood ones take a look at the links Paul Carlson, small workshop guy, signing off.